Good day everyone. My name is Mr. Chisum. Today we'll be looking at the bones of the hand. So this is the hand. From the wrist down is the hand. So we'll be looking at all these bones that make up the hand. We'll be looking at all these bones that makes up the hand. So in the hand, you can see that the hand starts from the wrist here. So in the hand, the first set of bones we have are these bones here. These rounded bones here. These are known as the carpal bones. So these are the carpal bones. Then we have the metacarpal bones. So the carpal bones and the metacarpal bones are said to be the bones of the palm. The carpal bones are eight in number why the metacarpal are five in number though we'll come back to see each and every one of them then these are the phalanges and in between these bones you can see the carpal bones connecting with the metacarpal bones and a joint is formed here so we'll be looking at all these joints together with all these bones one after the other so let's see the carpal bones like i told us the carpal bones are eight in number so you can see the carpal bones here so starting from this part which is the thumb part this bone is known as the trabesium the trabesium then this one here is known as the trabezoid the trabesium the trabezoid this is known as the capitate this is known as the hamate. So I repeat, the trabezium, the trabezoid, the capitate, and the hamate. We'll see for now. Then, if you come proximally, I just showed us the distal part of the carpal bones. The trabezium, the trabezoid, the capitate, and the hamate. These are the distal carpal bones. Then, if you come to the proximal carpal bones, you see this bone here, the scaphoid. This bone is known as the scaphoid. And this one is known as the lunate. As a matter of fact, the scaphoid and the lunate articulate with the articular surface of the radius to form the radiocarpal joint or the wrist joint. So you can see the scaphoid and the lunate articulating with the articular surface of the radius to form the wrist joint. Then we also have this bone here. This is known as the tripetrum. This bone here is known as the tripetrum and this is known as the pisiform bone. So let me repeat it. Starting from the thumb, the thumb side, we will go from distal to proximal. So this bone here is the trabezium, the trabezoid, the capitate, the hamate, the scaphoid, the lunate, the tripetrum and the pisiform bone. These are the eight bones that make up the carpal bone. The joint between the proximal carpal bone and the distal carpal bone is known as the mid carpal joint. So let's go over to the metacarpal. These are the metacarpals. So we have the first metacarpal, the second metacarpal, the third metacarpal, the fourth metacarpal, and the fifth metacarpal and the joint that is formed between the carpal bone and the metacarpal bone is known as the carpal metacarpal joint the carpal metacarpal joint then having seen the metacarpal let's go over to the phalanges now the phalanges are divided into three we have the proximal phalanges so the proximal phalanges 
are the phalangeal bones that articulate with the metacarpal bones. So these are the proximal phalanges. Then we have the middle phalanges. This is the middle phalanges. And we have the distal phalanges. These ones are the distal phalanges. So the phalanges are the bones of the finger. They are the bones of the finger. So the proximal phalanges, the middle phalanges, and the distal phalanges. Now, the joint between the metacarpal bone and the phalanges is known as the metacarpophalangeal joint. This joint here is known as the metacarpophalangeal joint. Then the joint that is found between the phalanges that is maybe between the proximal and the middle phalanges the joint that are found between the bones of the phalanges is known as the interphalangeal joint it is known as the interphalangeal joint so we've been able to see the bones of the hand so this has eight bone the kappa bone has eight why this has five bone and then the phalangeal bones. So we've come to the end of this teaching. I will encourage us to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Learn with Chisum Great. Follow me on Facebook, TikTok, Learn with Chisum Great. Like this video, share this video to your friends, and comment on this video. Thank you very much.